And last March, we, um, I decided that we're going to convert a car, this 2002 Neon, to a full electric. So I started doing a lot of research and investigating what we need to do. And uh, I started gathering all the parts that I thought we were going to need to, to accomplish this task. Uh, when August came around and the juniors became seniors, I gave this project to them. And 150 hours later, we, we, completed, the, we completed it. During the process, um, when we were designing the conversion, we had to build and fabricate all the battery boxes. And those are the parts that hold the eight batteries that we have in the vehicle. Uh, we had to figure out how we're going to couple the electric motor to the transmission without using a clutch. We had to figure out all the electrical wiring, where we're going to put it, what do we need, how we're going to hook up an accelerator to it, and control the amount of current. Uh, we had to de determine what parts didn't need to be in the vehicle, so we had to remove all the non-essential items. We also had to, to, re to keep the original gross vehicle weight rating on the vehicle because we couldn't make it too much heavier and we definitely couldn't have it less than what it was when we started or the steering and suspension system would have been wandering. So we had to distribute the parts throughout the vehicle to maintain the original gross uh, weight rating of the vehicle. Um, we had to con construct a control board that would house all our electrical components under the hood and um, then we had to look at safety features. How are we going to be able to disconnect all power real quick? So we, we got these quick disconnectors that you just unplug them and then pulls all the disconnects all the power. We have an inertia switch when it gets in an accident that it automatically opens the circuit and there is no more power to the vehicle. Uh, we have power brakes working off of an electric power pump, uh, unlike before when it was being working off of the uh, internal combustion engine. So there is just a myriad of things that we had to overcome to get to the point where we're at right now very pleased with the outcome.